We are about ready to drop off a 1949 CJ2A to Kyle's Jeep Adventures. We're taking the old Wrangler, my favorite road tripping vehicle. So the reason why we're having to unload the Jeep without using my trailer ramp is because we have a drivetrain up here that we're going to unload first. That way we could have rolled the Jeep all the way forward, had room to flip the ramp over, then took the Jeep off. But we got some issues with the tractor, with the flat tire, so we can't get the drivetrain off first, which means we have to get the Jeep off first to then pull the engine off the back end with the strap. So it's been a little interesting and the gator holding tension on the Jeep pulled it to the one side of the trailer and it caught my little latch over there. So I'm gonna use a jack on the bumper in the center to lift the bumper up over the trailer and then down. Can never be easy, can it? So we got the bump over the latch. Oh, okay. There you go. That was graceful. <laughs> Alright, we're out here at Kyle's Jeep Adventures and we just dropped off a 1949 CJ2A. I bought this Jeep down in southern Indiana. A really beautiful area. I actually went under a covered bridge to go buy the thing. Well, it really threw me off when I listed this, uh, you know, less than it for sale is that the bumpers on these, between a 2A and a 3A, they're a little bit different. So a CJ3A, traditionally, the bumper right here, I don't know if I can see it on camera, it kind of slopes up at the top, and then the bumper mounts right to the frame horns. Where on a CJ2A, they've got these gussets that hold the bumper on. But in 1949, it was kind of a transitional year for Jeeps, so CJ2As had 3A features and 3As had 2A features. And obviously the body looks like a CJ2A, but windshields are interchangeable. So what you need to do to determine if your body tub is a 2A or 3A is you actually measure from the back of the tub here to the front of the wheel well housing. And if it's 34 inches long, that means that it is a CJ2A. If it's only 32 inches long, that's because on the 3A, they moved the seat back a couple inches. So this one measured at 34, and that was my telltale. And I don't think CJ3As have this plate up here at all uh, on those, but overall, super solid Jeep project. Um, the sides on it are super nice. Obviously, the floor has been patched on it, which almost all Jeeps have been. But it's a pretty decently straight body. You know, it's not like the thing's been wrecked before. The really only bad spot on the tub is on the passenger side right here, which you can obviously buy new panels for that. You can tell if someone's bondoed and repaired it over time. But overall, pretty solid Jeep, especially from the area that it came from. And it's got the M151 wheels on it, which a lot of people don't know that you can put those on. The only problem with them is that the back spacing of them, they're kind of in closer to the body. So I believe at full lock on the steering wheel, you might get some rubbing on the inner fender, but not a huge deal and they actually look pretty neat on these. And then the seat frames are also M151 mutt. You can see that someone added some channel right here to bolt the seats on the thing, but they actually look, you know, of the air, not a huge deal at all. Then we'll pop open the hood. You want to get that side? And there is no engine in it at the moment, so it's definitely a little bit of a project. But they got the transmission, transfer case, bell housings all sitting in here. 
And you can see another reason why it's a 49 2A is the radiator's on a CJ3 bolt right to the back of the grill. This one's got the mounts right down at the bottom of the frame. And then I believe the motor mounts on a CJ3A are offset. So I believe the, pa the driver's side is either forward or backwards compared to the passenger. And this one appears that they're both in the same you know, location. So we've got the engine sitting on the trailer out of a Willys generator, which is a super common swap in these. Could have been at some point where someone didn't want to pay the money to rebuild the original engine. Or, you know, maybe it was cracked or who knows what the story was. But that's where she's sitting right now. Then here is the engine sitting inside of a mutt tire and wheel that's all spare. This is a generator engine. Easy way to tell is because the carburetor is mounted sideways on this one. There are some generator engines that the carburetor mounts this way. But they kind of do both directions. The sideways one isn't the best for a Jeep, but this one's already been installed in one. It's already attached to a training and transfer case, so I'm sure it'll be easy to figure out there. If you want to follow all future progress on this Willys Jeep, you need to check out Kyle's Instagram page, which is shown right here, and his YouTube channel, which is shown here. If you want to see a little bit more detailed video of us unloading the Jeep and then me standing in front of the camera doing a walk around of the Jeep, you need to check out Kyle's video that's on the top left corner right there. We do have a sponsor in today's video. Super Clean has once again reached out to us and they are giving away to one lucky winner one bottle of the original Super Clean and one can of Super Clean aerosol. I use this stuff all the time on my Jeeps because, you know, they're old vehicles, they sit outside, they just accumulate rust and mud and water and, you know, if you mix a little bit of Super Clean with a pressure washer, you'll be amazed at the results. Like I said, I use it all the time. A couple years ago, I did do a Super Clean giveaway with three lucky winners. Unfortunately, once I announced the winners, I couldn't get a hold of anybody. And I think that's because I just told everybody to comment below on my video. But the problem is with YouTube, there's really no contact information if you don't respond to that sort of message. You can comment on this video below with your Instagram handle or I'm going to post a picture super clean on my Instagram page and you can comment on that picture. So thanks for watching and good luck on the giveaway.